Hello, my beautiful beans and things. We are back with Zelda Tears of the Kingdom mini adventures. This time we are diving into our final side quest of the game, a side quest that I was curious about ever since entering Karakara Bazaar, and that is the side quest dealing with all of the mysterious orbs you can find in Karakara Bazaar and Gerudo Town. So it is time to play detective slash archaeologist and unravel the mystery of the orbs. Let's jump right into it. Oh hey, ooh, sparkly. Isn't this orb great? After the sand shroud went away, I came outside and found it lying here. I want this orb. Yeah. Oh, no way, finders keepers. It takes a special bow though to see what a special orb this is. Aww. If you like it that much, I guess I could lend it to you on one condition. You gotta play with, I mean, challenge me for it. Beat me and it's yours. So are you ready for a game? Challenge accepted. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. But we can't face off here. Let's go to the shelter. Oh, well, I lost. Okay, well, this is fine. What are we doing? Ah. Here we are. Everybody's gone back to the surface, so I get to use the shelter as my own playground. Here's the game. I'm going to hide a stuffed sand sealed doll somewhere here. Yeah. You, if you find it before time runs out, you win. No. Close your eyes for a minute while I hide it. All right. Aww. Should I hide it here? Actually, over here might be better. Oh, this is perfect. He'll never think to look by the bed. All right. <laughs> Uh, okay. I need to figure out where the bed is, though. Alright. But, uh, hi. Do -do 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 -do. That's the shop. Isn't there some over here? Yes. Ah. Uh, is this it? No, that's something else. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, that's rock salt. Hi. Finish. Oh, you found it. Good job. You win. I'll see you back at the entrance to the shelter, okay? All right, that wasn't so hard. I don't know what to do with the orbs. Ah. Well, how'd you find it? I'll lend you the orb now, just like I promised, so you can play with it as much as you want. <laughs> the game was so much fun. It reminds me of something Miss Ashai told me. If there's a bow I have fun hanging out with, then he is a very special bow indeed. Huh? See, I knew right from the start you were a special bow. Let's play again together sometime. All right. Earliest game complete. We get an orb. I don't know what to do with this orb. But I'm sure we'll find out. First, Stella. I... Ah. Sava. You! Sava. Mm. Oh, you must be that foe everyone is talking about. Say, are Hylian foe interested in archaeology? Would it surprise you to learn that I'm an archaeologist myself? After much work, I finally deciphered these Stella. Ah. Do you want to hear what's written on them? You do, don't you? Yes, yeah, sure. Eh? If you insist. <laughs> oh, first up, the Stella over here on the left. It says the seven heroines who protect the Gerudo. The secret will be expressed on six Stella. <laughs> As for the Stella over here on the right, it says the seven heroines who protect the Gerudo. An eighth channel. An eighth channels and guides the power of the seven. Ah. I doubt you know this, being a highly invoke. But we grew to have believed in the heroines for a long time. They are said to have protected and guided our people in times past. Unfortunately, I found little in the way of documentation about the heroines themselves. There are many debates and disagreements surrounding these enigmatic figures. Some argue for recovering all seven as a collective, and others for worshipping each one as an individual. Certain rabble-rousing contrarians even claim there was not seven, but one or eight. If there's one thing scholars love, it's arguing with each other. <laughs> but these style, I definitely support the theory of eight. Eh? An incredible discovery, isn't it? I could stop here and rightly say that I changed the face of archaeology. But if I found the other four, who knows what else I might learn about the heroines. I wonder too about this orb that I found while searching for the Stella. Is it connected somehow? <laughs> if I gave a presentation on this, I'd be the star of the archaeology <sighs> society. But I've not been able to find any Stella besides these two. Since there's nothing like them on the surface, the others must be underground somewhere. How I wish I could see the text inscribed on them. Even just a picture would serve my purpose. Oh. Like in the depths or just in the caves under here? I mean, yeah, this would be a good place to find it. In some place called... Alright, uh... Ah! 
I forgot that did that. Ha! My heart. And there's a good chance. Oh. All right. I don't think I can. Oh, yeah. Yes! Oh. Ta da. Oh, is this one of them? Oh, wait. What? Huh? Oh! Uh. No. Ah, rude. Alright. I just want to grab this. Okay. Alright. Anything here? Hopefully we can... I mean, this is technically underground, right? I mean, they could also very much be in the depths. Because, yeah, it's a little ambiguous what you mean by, like, underground. Like, that could be... Cave? Wells? Oh, hi, there's a Korok. Hello, Korok. You're not what I'm looking for. I'm tr questioning... Where these Stella are. I wasn't sure, like, how underground she's talking about here. But I'm guessing she just means in here. All right, let's look. Hi. Wait, is that one? Hi, I need to be in jail. Okay, I think that's one. Of course, she's not going to look in jail. Oh. Thief sees him. Hi. I don't even have to put on the whole clothes. Hi. Uh... Oh good, thanks. Thanks for throwing me in jail. Wait. <gasps> with the vote from before. Do you realize you're dressed like a member of a group that intends us harm? Alright. <gasps> okay, cool. That's fine. Aha! Pictures, yes. Cool. We have one. Is this better? I'm not going to speak with you until you put more clothes on. <laughs> All right. Technically, this is more clothing. Not by much. But, uh, there you go. If this is somehow appropriate. Oh. I had enough time to think about what you did. <laughs> How is this? But I better not see your broom face in here again. Right. I will absolutely break the rules one more time in order to get him some information. Somehow this is an appropriate amount of clothing. Can I smack this? Is this breakable? It is! Aha! Photo. Cool. Two of them done. Wait, is this supposed to be one? Uh. Oh. Do you have to line this up? Oh, oh, oh. Yes. All right. Is this the one that you were talking about was mean? Okay, there we go. Ta-da! Alright, we have one more. Oh! Oh. Oh! Alright, wait. Oh no, we have to get our ridiculous shield back. Cool. Let's just... Oop, you back into place. Ah, messed that up. Okay. All right, we got it. Ta-da! Hi. Sava. Sava. Mm. 
To learn the full truth, I found him. I finally saw a picture of the day. Here you go. Oh, you found Estella? Show me. Mm. Let's see, it says, seven heroines protect the Gerudo with the powers of heart, skill, fortitude, wisdom, flight, and mobility, and compassion. Mm. Mm, yes, this legend is well known, but it had never been what? verified. Until I came wow. along, that is. I'm very curious about the text inscribed on this. Yeah, here you are. Right. Mm. What does this one say? Let's see. The seven heroines who protect the Gerudo, their power is housed within the seven spirits. Mm. Curious, does that mean that seven heroines' powers have changed form and even now they are gone? And what could they mean by spirits? <gasps> what if your spirits were verbed to orbs like this one? Salton! I believe I made a breakthrough! Alright. I do. I do have more. Let's see, it says, <laughs> I love she's in the corner looking at me like, are you taking a photo of me? Uh, no, I'm taking a photo for archaeology. Let's see, it says, the seven heroines who protect the Gerudo, their spirits rest within the land of the Gerudo. Mm. So the spirits of the seven heroines are hidden within the Gerudo region. Confirming that these spirits are not legend or rumor, but real is by itself an enormous breakthrough. Ah. Uh, yep, here's the last one. What does this one say? Let's see. The seven heroines who protect the Gerudo. When their powers return to them, the Shrouded Eighth will be known. If the seven heroines power return, we can meet the Shrouded Eighth. But that must mean there really was an eighth heroine? I don't believe it. This changes everything. We did it. We know all of what the style I say. Now to put it all together. The eighth of them connects the other seven powers. Heart, skill, fortitude, wisdom, flight, mobility, and compassion. We have to return the seven heroine spirits to them to meet this eighth. Hmm. And those spirits are all hidden within the Gerudo region. That should about sum it up, right? It occurs to me there are similar drawings of the Stelae too. I think this orb must be one of the spirits that houses the seven heroine's powers. You know, deep inside the eastern area of the shelter, there's a place with statues of the seven heroines. Mm. Those statues, I remember them looking as if they could hold something. Alright. <laughs> okay, I think I know where most of these oh. are. I will happily take this though. Okay. All right, let's do this. I'm not messing around, I'm moving things. I know it's a bit unorthodox of a way to move things. Okay. So, who has you? Hi, would you like this one? Did I? Is that okay? Hmm? Hi. Oh, did you come here to do your own research? I see that the orb I gave you earlier is here now, which means you must have carried it here for me. Nice work. Both have their uses, eh? So you already tried placing an orb on a heron's, but according to you, nothing happened? The shape has me convinced that they belong in the statue's arms. Guess we'll have to return the orbs to all seven in the heron's before we'll know. But this means we're one step closer to discovering the truth about our mysterious eighth. Alright. Okay, maybe it's time to go to Patricia <laughs> for prophecy. She should be in the palace. All right, does this like count? I just want to make sure it's like in there and it's not gonna disappear. All right, I guess that's good enough. All right, I know there's more over here. Uh, there we go. Do do do. Cool. Sure, take a break from cowering. Oh, hmm. Hi. Oh, you brought another orb. Sarsko, you deserve something for the trouble you went through carrying it all the way here. Will this do? Uh, thank you. Yes, I'll take a Hydro Melon. Okay, cool. Can I actually put it on the statue, though? I'm not. I am putting it where it goes. At least attempting. Oop. Alright, how about we just like loop two together? And take two at a time. How does that sound? That sounds pretty good. Yes. Alright. Hi. Hmm? We 
you brought me another orb, Sarsko. Lugging the thing all the way here must have been tough. You deserve something for... Okay, hi. There you go. I have two. Oh, I guess it once it crosses. All right, nice. All right, can I go put these where they go? Thanks. Okay. So we found four. Let's go to Katakata. We can just warp there. All right, here's the orb. We have this one. Very good. Now, I'ma be lazy. Absolutely, we're doing this. All right. All right. Uh, that might be a little heavier than I thought. Well, it's definitely heavier than a Korok. We don't want to... It doesn't even hold. All right. Will this work? I don't know. We're going to try it. Yes? Ish? As long as I could... I had to get it to go. Nah, it's not. We're gonna crash. Okay. Alright. Good enough? We're gonna attempt it. Yes? Still a little... Uh... Front heavy, but... No! No, we dropped it down in there and I did not want to do that. All right. All right, that's that's fine. Can, this should be able to lift us out. And that's all I care about. Can we get out of this? This should have enough power. Yes, all right. Ah. Uh, oh no. Yes, but also, I hear, I hear things. Okay, whoosh, let's get us out of here. All right, this is absolutely ridiculous. This is beyond overkill, but we do not have to worry about power. Not at all. All right, now we just need to find two more of these things. I have no clue where they are, but apparently we can ask, did they say Patricia? Did they mean the sand sill? Uh, now I gotta figure out how to go down. Uh, I guess this is fine. Yeah, yeah, that's that's fine. Yes. Uh, yes, I brought you a new one. Hi. Oh, you brought me another orb, Sarskull. You deserve something for the trouble you ah. will this do. Here we go. Good enough. Hi. Hello. Hello, you have a very cute bow. How are you? You're very nice. Oh, very cute. Ah. What do they mean? Sava Sava. Sava Sava. Ooh. This is the chief's beloved. Yeah, okay. Cool. She's no ordinary sandsill, though. Patricia is actually something of an oracle. Please offer her some fruit and in return she'll share a reading with you. Oh, if you give her splash fruit, you'll most certainly get a strange number-filled reading. Uh, would that be... Uh... Coordinates? Hi, would you like coordinates? Hi. Uh... Oh, oh are you gonna, gonna turn around and eat it? Oh, hi. I would like some... Hi. I would like some coordinates, please. Hello. Um. Nom 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 nom. Okay. Oh. A number seal. Thirty-nine. Okay, let's write this down. All right. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Uh, the coordinates. All right, so we're close to that. 2916, actually we're fairly close. Okay, 
Okay. So yes, basic. Oh, maybe in the shop. <gasps> oh. Aha. Oh yeah, I did find that before. Derp. Thank you. Thank you, Patricia. I bring you another one. Spirits go. Hmm? Oh, you brought me another orb star skull. Lucky. All right. I just need one oh. more. Okay. I need to go talk to the seal again. Of all the things I planned to do today, talking to sand seals was not one of them. Hi. Uh, would you would you like a nice splash for it? You would? Oh, thank you. Okay, good. All right. Let's... Oh. All right. Thank you. Here? Uh, pretty close, possibly. Ta-da! Hi, I bring you the last one. Mm hmm? Hmm? Oh, you brought me another orb, Sarsko. You deserve something for the trouble you went through carrying mm. it all the way here. Will this do? Absolutely sure. Ah. Let's see, we've got seven of them here now, and there are seven statues, so if we turn all the orbs to the statues, something should happen. Uh, yep. Uh, I mean, we only have one more to go. So... Ball. Orb. Sphere. No. I'm not messing around. I'm doing what you asked. Ta-da. Hang on a minute. Huh? Eh? That was the last orb, wasn't it? This is so exciting. We've returned the spirits to all seven of the herons. So, any moment now, something should happen. Hey, does the ground feel to you like it's shaking? Eh? The floor is moving. Quick, over here. Do do. A tunnel. Eh? A hidden room. Let's go inside. Uh, I'm sorry, and all the excitement, I almost forgot my manners. We wouldn't have found this hidden room without you, so you should go first. Oh! Big ball. Hi. Our hearts are full of gratitude and praise for the one who saw us in all that we could be. We have enshrined an appropriate, appropriate gift in the sanctuary at North Gerudo Ruins. The outsized orb near the eighth statue shall be the key that opens the way. Uh. Mm. Hmm? I see. The North Gerudo Ruins Sanctuary. This is the giant orb is mm. the key? There's some large ruins located north of Gerudo Sanctuary. I found an entrance. Eh? All right. And if I'm right, oh, ah. except I'd have to carry that thing. And I've gotten to archaeology to look at things, not yeah. carry them. I'm going to entrust the task to you. You only have to carry it a little ways up to the North Grid of Ruins. It should be no trouble for you. All right. Uh. Oh, okay. So yeah, cool. All right. This is this is not going to be able to be picked up other ways. All right, woof, onwards. We're going to terrorize <laughs> these poor people again. I'm so sorry. All right, we get our little dragonfly orb. All right, hi, sorry, research. Don't mind me. I want to know the truth. Do I need to drop the orb down here? I'm here. I'm afraid to to drop the orb. All right. Oh. Oh, is that all it does? All right. I mean, you can get to it other ways as well. Now what? Or I guess maybe not this section. I don't know. Oh hi. Okay, maybe not this section. I'm gonna guess it means this. Hi. Hello. 
cool. All right. Run. 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 Run, Link. All right. Uh, yes? Cool. I think this is where we're supposed to be. Cool. Statue of the Eighth. Nice. All right. Oh, there's some nice things here. Very good. All right. Let's read. Long ago, a monstrosity of the sands attacked Gerudo Town. Its war cry rang over the do out the dunes, ov out over the dunes like a raging demon. We severed heroines of the Gerudo, the most stalwart chosen by, surged forth to engage it. Yet this monstrosity tossed us about like tumbling weeds. We feared that the proud Gerudo would be extinguished. And then a hero ap appeared from afar. He marshaled the seven heroines, counseling us to combine our strengths. The strength upon strength of we seven routed the monstrosity. We named our benefactor the guiding light of the Gerudo. Yet though we had naught but the highest praise for him, he was refused entry into Gerudo town. It was Gerudo law that all those like him were barred. How hollow our gratitude and praise must have rung in this hero's ears. Thus was the link between his people and the Gerudo severed. Though we never bequeathed it to him, the gift into which our feelings are bound is enshrined at the sanctuary. Ah. All right. Well, what is it? All right. Uh, but where's my... Uh... Do, I, do I need to take a photo of this? I don't know. I'm going to take a photo just in case. Uh, just, just to be on the safe side. All right. Where's my research partner? I did the thing. Where? You still underground? You didn't leave? I thought you wanted to do research. There you go. Hmm? What happened to that big orb? Carried it. What? You found your way into the sanctuary? So the giant orb was the key after all. Well, did you learn anything about our mystery eighth? Yes. Eh? What? The eighth was a vow? Is that true? Sultan, if you asked me what I thought the truth would turn out to be, I never guessed this. To say what we learned here will upend what we know of Gerudo history is an oh. understatement. I've got to write up these findings as soon as I can. Don't worry, I'll mention your contributions as well. Uh, hang on. Mm -hmm. What name should I credit you as? Uh, Link. Eh? Linka, that's a funny coincidence. Must be nice having the same name as Princess Zelda's favorite swordsman. I'll write this report up nice and thorough. I know you're excited to read it. Oh, before I forget, this is your reward. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Next time you'll see me, I'll be the star of the Archaeological Society. Well then, it's a fork. I want to find out what happens. I want to... Can I, can I meet her again? I want to... Alright. Alright, my beautiful beans and things. That's going to be it for today. I had a lot of fun with this quest. You get to find out a little bit of history. And tracking down all of the orbs was a little bit challenging, but still a lot of fun. It's kind like archaeology meets scavenger hunt and I can get behind that. Plus we get a really interesting historical discovery that I was not expecting. It appears Link is not the only heroic vote in Gerudo history. Though to be fair it probably could have been a different incarnation of Link. Who's to say? But even though it was a bit of work, I think the reward was well worth it. I love getting little bits of lore in this game. It's probably why Link enjoys reading everyone's diary. Link does not believe in privacy. But with finishing up this side quest, this is going to be our last side quest for this game. And next time we can focus on finally, finally saving Hyrule. Ganon must be very, very patient though to put up waiting for Link to finish with all of his nonsense. But next time, he must go down. And with that, you know what time it is. It's time to jump into our comment for the day. Our comment today is by Elsie Yerchuk. I just imagine Link showing up to the Hotano Village School in an ultra handcrafted school bus and taking the kids on a field trip to fight a Gleok or something. Link would either be the best teacher or the worst teacher. There is no in between. He'd either teach them the fundamentals of self-defense and survival skills like you can eat this, you can't eat this and the history of things that happened a hundred years ago or hey kids here's how to craft an autonomous murder robot i mean you need a magical hand for this but isn't it cool i feel like these are the two extremes and there would be no middle ground
none. The Breath of the Wild Tears of the Kingdom Link is a wild man, and I am almost 100% certain that Zelda would not approve of his teaching methods. I feel like Zelda would question a lot of what Link does in both of these games, but probably more so the Tears of the Kingdom Link, because this man now has the powers of creation and is only bound very loosely by the laws of physics. Not only Ganondorf, but all of Hyrule should fear when Link gets creative with his use of Ultra Hand. I've seen the things that people have created and the things Link is capable of, and even Zelda in all her curiosity would probably question Link's reasonableness in his creations. So yes, Link would either be the best teacher or the worst one. And I'm leaning towards Zelda would ban him from ever teaching again. But your comment definitely made me laugh, so thank you so much for it. That's going to be it for today, so as always, have a good day, have a good night, wherever and whenever you are, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye!